Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice. Yes, back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share and press the notification bell. And if you ever want to contribute to the channel, link in the description via the comments as well. And also the link description. Check it out. Subscribe via I mean contribute via PayPal and also send your super chat while we are live and on Right across the road from me, as you can see, the kiosk called Red United TV is proudly to partner up with BetUS. Click on that link in the link description as well. You can get your bonus as well and you can get your promo Red United TV. But let's go straight into the match reaction because it is Manchester United 1, Brighton and Hovian 2, Brighton and them man again. The Seagulls has come down to Old Trafford and shattered on all of us guys. It shattered on the fans and the players. Shattered on Eric Ten Hag's bold head. Yes, he felt it. Pop. Oh my God. Can you imagine the opening game of the season guys? The first game of the season where our Ops won. Chelsea won. Tottenham won. Arsenal won. The team that we're going to be competing to get that fourth place. All of them won. But we come in on a Sunday and it was nice. Sunny side. The sun was shining. And I just thought to myself, I'm feeling sick. I feel like Manchester United will lose. And guess what? It happened. It happened. And we all knew it that McFred will start. Maguire will start. It is what it is with Manchester United. But yeah, those guys just let us down. The midfield was non-existent. Overall, guys, to me, the first 45 minutes was so damn poor. Jesus. And you can see the trouble just coming to, to, in, onto us as well. With uh, um, with the defence, players out of position as well. The press wasn't really there. Did we really play in the halfway line? The second off as well, not good enough, guys. It really wasn't good enough. These men are shit. We're fucking shit at times, man. We're just fucking shit. We've been shit for a long time because these players... We need to sign, guys. Honestly speaking, this is not me overreacting. But we need to sign because these mid players as well are not good enough. The midfield is weak. Up front is weak. The fact that we have to play false nine. This should send a message to those Glazers because Avram Glazer was there. And you was wearing your glasses. So you can see with your glasses on 2020 vision that Manchester United need to sign. And you was there to impress us. You didn't impress me. You didn't even know what's going on. You don't even know what's going on in the pitch. To you, you just don't even know what's going on. Are we playing for points right now? You just don't know Avram Glazer. But he was there. Everyone else was there. The whole entire board that was there, they need to see that Manchester United need to sign, guys. The fact that we start off with the, 40, the first 45 minutes, the first goal. Because, guys, it was a first, it was a decent start for Manchester United in the first 20 minutes where Manchester United had 80% of the ball, but did nothing. At the same time, Brighton was causing problems. Brighton as well, as again, what's his name? Danny Welbeck was a problem in that first 20 minutes. And it came... It came to fruition because he was so much of a problem that he helped score the first goal. And that first goal came from Diego Dalot's side as well. He got exposed today, Dalo, so much at times in that first 45 minutes. The ball too easy. An easy slide through pass to Welbeck. For Welbeck to cut it in, guys, for Sean Gross to score. And Sean Gross performed today. That goal was... It pissed me off. It made me feel gross. Gross's goal made me feel gross, man. You gross me out, Sean Gross. Because he came back and scored a second goal to piss us off again. And we were a tap in as well. Manchester United on the left hand side. Luke Shaw. You saw one Shaw these days because I wasn't convinced that Luke Shaw should have started, guys. Because he was shit to me. He should have came off. McTominay pants, as always, doing what he does best, collecting the yellow cards. Not contributing to goals and assists but contributing to the yellow card stats come on guys that's what he does and for him to stay on in the second half shot me because fred came coming off i thought was a bit unfair half time you know two one two nil to to brighton manchester united coming back with the goal because we didn't cause anything but even before the goal rashford marcus rashford missing a good chance 
Ronaldo may have not been offside, and I believe he wasn't offside, squaring it to Rashford. Rashford, instead of finishing it on your left-hand side, you go to your the goalkeeper's nearest right-hand side. Your finishing skills are just, they're just, they're just inevitable. They just don't non-existence these days. Rashford is finishing and thinking is non-existence, man. He's not clinical enough. And one thing, I love the guy, but you're not clinical enough. And I said it before, Rashford and Martial won't get us anywhere. It won't get us anywhere. It's B Tech, Dwight York, and Andy Cole. But Manchester United making the goal 2 1 by an own goal by McAllister. Because Manchester United didn't even open up Brighton's keepers, Brighton's defense to have one on one opportunities. No, they did not. They didn't at all. So Manchester United overall through that whole 45 minutes and that whole 90 minutes didn't deserve the win because we wasn't finding anything. We didn't find anything. Brighton had more shots on target. As you can see there, 15 shots from Brighton, but four shots on target, which which scored, got the goals. But my night at the end, five shots, but you're thinking, where did the five shots on target came from? You know, I just can't really remember. But it is what it is. Player-wise, Martinez had a decent debut. You know, he had to carry Maguire at times. And it's not easy carrying that fridge. That fridge is heavy. And it takes about four men to carry that fridge. In fact, six or seven men, because it depends on the fridge whether they can fit through the front door, them situation there. And they might not even be able to fit through the front door, Maguire, that fridge. But yes, Ericsson as well debut, did all right. He did take it that time, but couldn't find the, the final pass to just allow, slot someone in to, for one on one opportunities. McTominay, bruh, I've had enough of this guy. He needs to move on. Like, we need to get midfielders in. We need Marcus Rashford. Bad game again today. Bad decision making. Maguire, you're lucky you started, but you shouldn't have not started because you are captain. It is what it is, guys. They suck. Man of the match today, guys. Nobody. But donkey of the match has to go to Scott McTominay. McMayo. Definitely not McSauce. He ain't. He's playing right now. He's playing mayonnaise, you know. It can't even be a McMail light, bro. He's the real McMail, bro. He's got no nothing to him, bro. But yeah, Manchester United fans, we've lost our first game, but we really need to sign. You know, do not panic yet because it's gonna get ugly before it gets pretty, and I know that for sure. I, I know it. Like, it is what it is with Manchester United. It's gonna take some time because we need to sign, guys. So don't go crazy like I just did there. Just keep it calm, tranquilly as always. But yes, as always, guys. And yeah, tune up for tomorrow. The catch-up is back again. Mondays as well. And remember, guys, you get to have your say on Wednesdays. Instagram, make sure you follow all the social media accounts as well. And also sign up to BetUS as well. Press the notification bell. Subscribe. Smash this like button. Let me know what your thoughts are in, about the game in the comments. And see you next time. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready United. Your boy is out. We lost the first game of the season. Oh, we're going to get trolled on tomorrow. Peace.